Right, this is one of those videos that I make when I get worried that you'll think I'm showing you the same stuff over and over again. This is a Karen justifying her work video that I feel, from a personal level, I like to do because sometimes when you're embroidering a piece that's taking a while and you're photographing it in different stages, it's almost as if you're just showing the same photographs again and again and again because the surface is the same, the techniques look similar, you know, the stitches are the same but even if they're in a different area with a different background etc. So it's just that really, I didn't want you to think I'm just rehashing the same photographs. Um, so this is the piece I've been working on, I'll come out a little bit, it's been on my blog a lot recently. Um, I've joined, it's like I've got a lace background I created myself and I had the petals on, the applique flowers, um, can you see those there? And then I've started to put um, bullion knots up the seams and then I had that little area, didn't I, with the bullion knot like fence going round it, that's there. Okay, that's there. I'm hoping it'll show up better on video. I think some people like to see the videos. It gives them a better sense of what's going on there. So that's actually there. And there's a bigger one here. But then last night, what I've done, I've added another bit of lace to it. I wanted to extend it that way. So I've added more cloth there and secured it underneath. So there's a lot of tacking still going on and a lot of edges that still need to be sorted out. But do you remember I made some loops out of alphabet cross stitch and they were for my wrapping cloth for my new class? Well, I've used some of those on here um, because I felt it needed that little bit of 3D something going on. So they're there. And in terms of never wanting to waste anything, the bit that snipped off the end of those two is here like a little tab that's secured down with French knots. So that was it really, it's just me making sure that you know I'm just not rehashing photographs and uh, showing you the same old, same old all the time. So I'll pull in again a little bit and then I'll move it around under the camera. So hopefully this will help you see things a little bit more clearly now I've pulled it in slightly. Um, these are the hoops that I put on last night. Can you see? I think it is a bit clearer, isn't it? And there's bullion knots going down here. That is one of the applique flowers that I created with the cross stitch fabric that I embroidered and then I cut it up. Um, going further up here, trying to get it so you don't miss anything. Going further up here, there's more bullion knots here and then a half a flower that's almost appearing as it's coming out of that hole. And further up again, here, another half a flower, um, and there's that little fence area of bullion knots. That way, see it there? There. And there's a bigger one of those up here. Um, there. You see those? It's quite a bigger hole, that one. And then this is the little tab, little tab that I cut off the end because I really hate to waste anything, especially when I cross stitched it myself to use to embellish a cloth. So that's it basically, I'm going to work on the seams. Um, my plans for this have changed slightly. I was going to add it to something else but now I think I'm just going to work on it and work on it intensively and then put it in a frame and keep it framed for me. That is the plan but my, you know what I'm like, I'm always changing my mind. But today, that's the plan today on uh, Tuesday the 5th of March 2013 I said I was going to keep this for me and put it in a frame. So we'll come back in 12 months and we'll see if that's still the case or whether I change my mind again but then it's a woman's prerogative isn't it. <laughs> 